everyone, I'm Andrew, and I'm Mark, and welcome to the Tech Twins. Today, we're sharing the story of how we both got internships at Apple Inc. in Cupertino, California. Make sure to watch until the end of this video for our tips on optimizing your Apple internship search and how you can make yourself stand out. I was an engineering project management intern working on the Macintosh team for eight months in 2017. From January of the second semester of my sophomore year in college through the end of that summer, I interned there and I lived in a corporate housing complex with three other interns in Cupertino, California. And next summer, I'll be interning as an engineering project manager on Apple Watch. And when I got my internship, I was in my first semester of my junior year of college. From a young age, both Andrew and I knew that we really wanted to work at Apple, mainly because their products were inspirational. They showed us what could happen when a group of smart people come and work together. And they also introduced us to this mysterious field called engineering. We had been watching their product releases in full since middle school. So to say that working at Apple was a dream would be a bit of an understatement. The good thing was that it was a dream we identified very early on. In order to make this dream a reality, starting in our freshman year of college, we attended all events that Apple came to on campus. And they actually came to a lot. Career fairs, talks with their engineers, summer networking events at Apple's main campus, and a variety of smaller events. At the time, if you couldn't tell, we really wanted to work at Apple. By the end of freshman year, as a result of being regulars at Apple events, the recruiters knew us well. So Mark, you said that you got your internship during your sophomore year. What did you do from the end of freshman year to sophomore year to get that internship? I had to apply, and I applied through just about every channel that I could find. Berkeley has a career website called Handshake. I applied through there. I applied on the Apple Jobs website, in person at career fairs, at networking events, etc. But the avenue that actually worked for me was through Berkeley's career website, Handshake. I applied to a project management internship through that platform, and I was selected for an interview. That sounds awesome, but also really nerve wracking. How did you prepare for that interview and what did they ask you? Were there any brain teasers or anything like that? So it was exciting and it was really nerve wracking, but luckily there were no brain teasers. This was a phone interview with the person that would eventually become my manager. And they went down my resume asking for information about relevant experience and some more generally behavioral questions, why I wanted to work at Apple and things of that sort. So what happened after that? Luckily, I was selected for a second interview and this turned out to be my final round interview. It was held on campus in the cafe in Apple's main campus in Cupertino, California. I was going to school in Berkeley, but the interview was in Cupertino. So in order to get there, since I didn't have a car, I took a very expensive Uber. I was also really nervous about being late, so I arrived two hours early, which if you are wondering, is too early. I would only recommend arriving about 15 minutes early, otherwise you'll be waiting there for a long time. My final round interview was with my manager and my senior manager, and again, there were no brain teasers, but they asked me similar sorts of questions to the first interview, but more in depth. So they went through my resume again, they asked about how I build relationships because that was important to the role, and they asked how my friends, family, and roommates would describe me in a few words. A few weeks later, I heard over email that I was selected for this internship position at Apple, and I was just ecstatic. I eventually got the final letter in the mail, and it was in this really nice white package with silver embossed writing and an Apple logo, and it said, welcome to Apple, and it had everything that I needed to get started with becoming an intern at this company. I went on to have an incredible internship experience where I had an amazing team. I met really friendly and smart interns from across the world. I will definitely treasure this internship experience as my first major internship. But enough about me, on to Andrew. Andrew will be interning at Apple next summer, so let's ask him. Andrew, how did you get your internship there? So last summer I was interning at a high growth tech company in the Bay Area, and I was doing mechanical engineering for that company. And I liked it, but for the next summer, I wanted a role that combined both engineering and business, since I am studying both. I also wanted to experience a different company's culture, like Mark said, and also a company that was at a different stage in growth. Mark passed my resume around at Apple. I had two phone interviews, no on-campus visit this time, and I got my offer. That sounds pretty straightforward, but we all know that the internship search is not that straightforward, so what do you think made you stand out against the other applicants you were being compared against? I can only speculate, but I think my educational background in both mechanical engineering and business really helped me stand out because it is a pretty unique combination. And the reason I say this is because the role I'm doing is engineering project management for the product design of Apple Watch. So my educational background fits that really well. But I think people are really curious about the actual content of the internship, the perks, the pay, what it was like, what you were working on. Mark, could you tell us anything about that? Yes and no. The perks and the pay, what I will say, 
are very similar to what is posted online on websites like Glassdoor, and there are a few articles out there that say what it's like to be an intern at Apple, but I signed a non-disclosure agreement, so I can't really go into that too much. And the internship experience, I worked on projects that had impact on the real world, so that was really exciting for me. So you said great things about the Apple internship, but you won't be going back next summer. Why? You're right, I had a great time at Apple, but I have a few internships left before I graduate from college, and I really wanted to experience another company, their culture, and what it was like to work in a different location. So I'm doing that next summer at Microsoft, and I really wanted to get this other experience before I decided what I want to do right after college in a full-time job. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment with any questions you have about what we said. We'll see you next week.